just for clarity's sake, I think it's important to kind of dissect and break down what land entitlement is, because I feel like that can be an intimidating word, but basically you're taking raw land and you're getting it ready uh, to be able to have a development built on it, whether it's multifamily or you know whatever it ends up being. But can you break down the specifics of what entitlement is, land entitlement, land banking? Sure. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's really boring. Um, it's not sexy. And it's not a DIY kind of a project. You don't go to a weekend seminar and then come out and be able to entitle land. So I always said I wasn't going to invest in land because the only thing I knew about was buying raw land and selling raw land. And that's a high frequency business and that's not passive. So that wasn't for me because you have to do a lot of volume and you take a small amount off each sale. So the land entitlement, um, I gave a talk on it recently. And I mean, I felt bad for the listeners because it was really so boring, but I wanted to show them the detail that goes into the process. So um, the folks that are doing this, they have to go to the city. You're dealing with permits, zoning, soil testing. There's a big environmental survey that's done where they literally have to go over the entire land, look for anything that might be off. Like, is there anything on the land? Is there like a is there like something with liquid in it? What is that liquid? You know, what's underneath the land? Is there big rocks that are going to prevent them from putting in the pipes that they need to put in? You know, so it's basically a very, very detailed survey of the land. Also requires dealing with the city and the county. Um, you might even have to do one of those, you know, things where you ask for community input and, you know, go to events like that. So you're dealing with the government, the county, the engineers, and it's a process that you know usually takes about nine to 18 months to kind of go from start to finish. And it's very important to have a strong contract so that when you're doing your due diligence, you're not buying land yet. You don't buy it until you are like 99% sure that this is going to be a saleable piece of land. That's great. And, and so I'm assuming that you have to do a phase one as you're mm -hmm. doing your entitlement. And mm -hmm. For everyone that is not in real estate, that's never had to do one of these, I do these on, on any of the properties that I buy. And you're basically making sure that there was never a gas station, never a laundromat, never a place that would have you know, contaminants yep. that uh, would get into the soil that could then be problematic for anyone who lived on it. And uh, and so it, it's not that expensive, but when there is a fail on the phase one to remediate that, it's an incredible cost to go through. It, sometimes it's virtually impossible to overturn, but, you know, kind of rule of thumb as I've learned it for me, at least, is the moment it's a, it's a no, I just walk. I don't even try to uh, get a phase two and, and anything like that. I want to resolve it. It's too expensive. Too much can go wrong. And sometimes you can figure all this out. If you, you know, go through the city records, you can figure out what has been on the land. You know, has it been raw land uh, from, you know, the time of records until now? Well, you probably don't have an issue then, but mm -hmm. if there's ever been something else on it, then it's really important that you do that. So uh, very interesting. Now let's talk about the returns here because, uh, and so with land entitlement, so before you were talking raw land, flipping raw land, small margins, you need a large volume of transactions to really make a good return. With land entitlement, it's different, and you've got a, a timeline with which you've got it under you know, due diligence. You're only going to buy it if you know that there's a buyer lined up. Um, you're going to lock it in at one rate. You're going to sell it at another rate, and it's a short period of time, really, between uh, when you buy it and when you sell it. So I'd love to hear some of the specifics there. Yeah. I mean, you're forcing appreciation in like the fastest way possible, really. I mean, apart from building, cause then you're making it worth even more, but basically, um, you're taking, you're taking the raw land and getting it ready. And during that process, the land acquisition managers are these specialists called LAMs and they, they know what they're doing. They used to work for the, the national home builders, but now they're, you know, working for private companies because the home builders are, either aren't doing it or when they do do it, it's so cumbersome and full of red tape that they just can't grab that piece of land, you know? So, so they take the, the land and, um, you know, they put it through the whole process and basically double, usually a good rule of thumb is approximately double the value of the land in nine to 18 months. Um, they, like I said, they have a, a, a land assignment contract, but they don't complete the close until they're sure. 
Another option is sometimes a simultaneous close where they have an LOI, which they frequently get ahead of time, almost always. And um, they sometimes can actually do a close where they purchase and sell it in the same day, which takes less capital, which is great. 